So you have this idea of a thermodynamic computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you pick it up again? You know, I, I left my career in, in quantum computing, quantum machine learning, took a couple months to, you know, gather my thoughts. And I, I, I went for it basically uh, summer 2022 and um, just got going and got the company going. And now it's been going for almost two years. You call yeah. it extropic AI. And I've seen some uh, some great video of your your fab <laughs> uh, and your uh, your first your, cry, your cryo hangout spots, you know. Yeah. Your, uh, so uh, your goal here is not something that's operating at cryogenic temperatures. It's something that is operating at room temperature. That's right. And being built on a silicon fab. Yeah. So so if, you know when you prototype things, you start with the biggest, most macroscopic prototype you can because mm -hmm. it's simpler, it's easier to get going, uh, and you can probe it and understand it better. In our case, we couldn't do a, a breadboard prototype, you know, like you would do with other electrical circuits because we want to operate it in the regime of ultra low power and the right ratio of power of noise where we have the right properties of, of, of the electron physics. So for us, the first prototype is the most macroscopic we'll make of a thermodynamic computer, but we had to super cool it because that's how the physics works out. Yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, we did a, a superconducting prototype. It's our first prototype, but our next chips are going to be uh, in silicon. And we're really so excited about that. You talk that. about embedding physics uh, and embedding the algorithms. Yeah. Uh, explain what that means. I mean, it, my whole career was figuring that out, how to embed quantum physics into a quantum mechanical computer, how to embed AI algorithms into quantum mechanical physics, right? And so for us, it's very similar sort of mindset. Um, there's ways to compile things into primitives that then get compiled to primitives of the hardware physics, right? Uh, in quantum computing, they're called quantum gates, right? And we have something similar um, in terms of frameworks that, that we have internally, and we're looking forward to putting out a lot of the details uh, on how to compile for uh, any sort of algorithm to a thermodynamic computer. And, and frankly, part of my goal is to uh, partially open source the concept of a thermodynamic computer so a broader community can join us on this quest. You know, we're one effort for this, but it's too important of a technology to, to keep it on a shelf for, for a few more years. We don't have time.